but we're still turning out hay. It's now Thursday. The last video I put up was on Tuesday, I think it was. Um, the weather has been very good to us so far. We've had uh, nothing but a nice breeze and lots of sunshine. Um, sun was a little bit slow to come out this morning, but has made the appearance. We're on a rather steep hill here at the minute. So we are. If somebody lost a water bottle. Um, yeah, it was a bit slow to come out this morning, the sun, but it has made the appearance. Um, this is the, the bit that's going to be last for bailing because it's probably slightly heavier than any of our other fields and it was more matted together um, yeah there's a lot more wet lumps still turning up on it it is going well but it's going to be another day or two before it's going to be ready um, depending on what the weather does. There is talk of a little bit of rain overnight, which we're hoping that we might miss out on, but if it does come, it's only going to be small. It's only going to be about a mil to a mil and a half of rain. So we're, we're hopeful that if it, we'd still get everything finished off by, by Sunday, because there's heavier rain coming then on Monday. the field should be ready for bailing this evening um, I didn't get any footage of it yet it's the 18 acre field it's a big square flat field and it's open it's more open than here the trees here kind of shelters a lot of the breeze and some of the sunshine then along the sides as well so you you just don't have the same drying even though this, this piece I'm on now as well rids off it's not too bad but down in the hollows there, uh, it's just a little bit more sheltered but the other field there's of the 18 acres I'd say close to 10 acres of it may be ready for baling this evening so the plan is to to get to get it rolled off after dinner late after dinner after we get it shook out and uh, yeah get it baled this evening so that's that's what we hope to happen uh, be losing the 2850. It's going to uh, go on the square bail up. There's a three acre field close to home that uh, it, it's going to get rolled out first. Um, and Dad, then Jerry, he's going to go on the, uh, the square bail up with the 2850 and get it bailed up. Um, so hopefully I'll have a, a tether in the next part of this video that you can see. We've, uh, we're getting the loan of a crone tether. Um, yeah, getting the loan of a crone tether for the, for the 18 acre field uh, that, we, that we have to do in the afternoon. I'm going to be self mixed up here. I've never used one of the crone headers before, so I'm looking forward to using it. Uh, it's a four-reel header, and it's it's only new. It's a, a neighbour, a friend of ours owns it, and he's very kindly given us given us the loan of it. Um, so yeah, so well, that's really it. Well, sure, I'll I'll take some footage when I'm using the crone header and. Um, I'll put it on at the back of this video. Well, we're up now in the 18 acre field. And uh, it's turning out very well. Small amount of green pieces in it compared to uh, the last field we were in. 
and we've, as you can see, we've lost the 28.50 and we're now in the 6.4 and we've gained the uh, Crone Tether as well. So, um, progress is a lot faster now. First time I've used the Crone Tado and I have to say I'm very impressed so far. Uh, very fast compared to the Hay Bob and uh, looks to be doing a very good job. It, 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 throws the, it throws the grass more up in the air and kind of gets it sitting off nicely that it can get dried out. So yeah, very impressed with it. Have to slow down here, it's a little bit bumpy down the bottom. <laughs> 